And finally, we've got a special guest tonight. We have a member of the cast here, and they're going to come along and say a quick hello before we start our screening. And I'm going to introduce this young lady as one of the surviving members of the Stark family. <laughs> Oh, yes, start the catch, I start Macy Williams! Hi everyone, how are you doing? Oh. Good. 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 Isn't this pretty cool, eh? Hey? It's pretty cool. So I thought, Macy, to introduce our screening, uh, I'd ask you a few questions about your character and about the Red Wedding. Mm -hmm. So to kick off, um, could you tell us a little bit about um, the journey that Arya Stark mates from season one to season three, because in season one she's quite a young, innocent girl, isn't she? And yeah, then... no, exactly. I think um, when I first auditioned for Arya, it was this kind of fun-loving tomboy who kind of spoke her mind. And then as the series had gone on, I feel like the characters really progressed and changed. And um, she's definitely not the Arya that you know I auditioned for in the, in the first place, which isn't a bad thing. Um, I think it's fantastic that she's you know, kind of um, toughening up and, and um, you know, making a stand in this world. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it, it's it's a, ch a challenge, I think, um, uh, the changes that she's making, but um, it's the best for the storyline, I feel. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, only, it's only doing good for her. Yeah, she, she does. She gets quite ruthless at the end of season three, doesn't she? Yeah. yeah. I mean, do you, I like, think, you like playing ruthless? Yeah, I think yeah. it was a good end for, for Arya's character because you've just seen, um, you know, the one thing that she wanted most be torn away from her and I feel like, you know, it's nice that she made a comeback at the end because, you know, she, it, it's great for the audience to see that she's, you know, here and she means business and she's not just, you know, ready for people to walk all over her and take away her family. Um, so, yeah, it, I think it was really powerful um, ending to the series, but for Arya, definitely. Yeah. And one of my favourite, um, or part of my, my favourite scenes in the Reigns of Castamere episode um, are the scenes between you and uh, Roy McGann, who plays the Hound. Mm -hmm. And I wondered if you could maybe give me your take on, on that sort of Arya the Hound relationship. And, and what's it like acting with someone who's seven foot tall with scars all over his face? <laughs> when, when I first got through the scripts for those last few episodes, um, I just remember reading the scenes and, and laughing and finding them absolutely brilliant. And you know, even though Arya's not having the greatest time with him, um, I think it's you know the relationship is really really interesting, and um, they kind of love to hate each other almost. And uh, yeah, it, it was great fun to do. And um, I feel like I'm kind of used to um, working with Rory now. Uh, there's so many pictures and stills out there of me just uh, talking to Rory like this. <laughs> but to, to me, that's normal. And to me, that's like what it's like with everyone, really, because I'm only five foot. So, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm looking up to everyone. There's, n there's never a time when I'm looking someone directly in the eye. I'm always like, got this view from them. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> um, I'm kind of used to it now. Okay. And um, when the Red Wedding episode aired on Sky Atlantic in the UK, uh, the reaction was phenomenal. I mean, the, the, the fans went absolutely crazy. Mm -hmm. And I wondered um, if you were taken aback by that, that huge fan reaction. It really shocked me. I didn't mean, I was like, wow. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen, you know, people take their friends' reactions to a, a TV series before. And, and I was watching some of them, and it was just absolutely brilliant. There's this one that I watched of um, a woman who's curled up on the floor with a blanket crying um, <laughs> after episode nine and her little dog comes over and starts um, trying to comfort her and she just sits up and she's like, not now. <laughs> and it's, um, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, and, and I did a Vine as well um, after that episode. I hadn't actually watched the episode, I just had those tweets come in so I knew it had been aired in the States. And then, um, yeah, I posted that, and, and the response to that was crazy, and that went viral, and people were tweeting me about it for months after. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad it was such a huge success. And um, it, it was, you know, it was heartbreaking and really sad, but you know you've done it right when, you know, the audience are crying. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you know we got it right, and that we, we managed to rip away what you wanted most. <laughs> and your, your Vine video was 
Brilliant. Yeah. They're all good. <laughs> 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 fantastic. Fantastic. So, um, season four, um, HBO released a, a trailer of the new season a few weeks ago, and there's a really great five-second uh, teaser trailer of Arya Stark wielding a sword mm-hmm. above her head. Uh-huh. And I wondered if you could maybe talk a little bit about the the, the training you have on set. I'm assuming when you started, you'd never picked a sword up before. Uh huh. Exactly. Yeah. So when I first started my training in series one. Um, uh, I had a great time working with Miltos and the stunt team, and we did several hours um, each week uh, leading up to the um, to the uh, shooting days. And uh, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it was kind of a challenge because in the books, I don't know how many of you have read the books, but Ari is written left-handed, and I'm naturally right-handed. So in the series, I've learned to do the sword fighting, and any time I'm pouring a drink or anything, I'm doing it all left-handed, which is... Um, at the time it was like a great idea but now I'm like regretting it (laughs) but um, no it keeps it interesting definitely and um, yeah and you know as you saw there's a little bit more sword fighting this year which I'm really excited about and um, I had a great time um, with Needle again so yeah Uh, and final question Uh, I know you can't say much about this but I'm going to ask everyone anyway because everyone here wants to know can you say anything about Arya Stark and her journey in, in season 4 um, so this year we see a um, a definite change in the relationship between Arya and the Hound she's not trying to kill him anymore and um, he's <laughs> he's kind of putting up with her um, they're not friends by any means but they're trying to get on a little bit better I guess He's um, still unpleasant to her and still, you know, shoots her down whenever she gets sassy. So um, those scenes were fun to do. But yeah, I mean, um, Ari's becoming a different character. We saw it a little bit in the end of last series. And um, yeah, she's definitely toughening up and learning a lot from the Hound and the way, his way of doing it. She's still keeping her previous training from Syria. But I, um, yeah, I feel like she's getting influences from the Hound from being with him for so long, I guess. Yeah. Well, I'm sure we all can't wait for season four, can we? It's going to be awesome. Uh, thank you very much for coming along. Everybody, a big round of applause. for. Thank you. Brilliant, there we go. Right, so we can start the, uh, the screening.